How's it going, everybody? Uh, for the three of you who have not figured out by process of elimination who I am, I am Peter of Peter, Brendan, Jake, and Jake, peanut butter, double jelly. I would say that we missed last week because of the holiday weekend, um, but that's a big lie. I just completely forgot to make a video. My name is Peter, and this is my vlog. <laughs> and I'm a writer, and I think it's kind of beautiful that waiter and writer are just one letter of difference from each other. I'm just always trying to hustle, always trying to figure out how I need to survive. Right now I'm surviving waiting tables. As a result of the pandemic, it's so weird, the cognitive dissonance that I feel, because I personally would not feel comfortable going out and dining at a restaurant right now, but the fact of the matter is, I needed money, so took a job, waiting tables, and that's what we're doing right now. So I am taking every precaution possible. I am just going to work and then going home and only otherwise leaving my apartment when I need to go buy groceries. Um, but anyway, to engage with the questions that Steggerta asked me, what is my favorite line so far that I've written? It really is like asking, who's your favorite child? Hmm, no, it's like, what's your favorite thing one of your children has ever done? Yeah, it's just, it's nearly impossible. Something will always stick out to me about the line in the Thousand Year Rose, the final, in the final scene. Yes, I'm a witch. I'm a woman who can do magic. That's what it means to be a witch. Hate is a choice. Evil is a choice. Or, but I feel like my best work has been done in Abandon All Hope. And I mean, I hope so, right? I wrote Good Night and Goodbye that became Knights of the Square Table when I was... 14 and 19, respectively. I would hope, as I'm turning 25 next month, that I've grown as a writer since then. The Thousand Year Rose, I think, is a better work than Knights of the Square Table. I think See Amid the Winter Snow is a better work than The Thousand Year Rose. I think Abandon All Hope is a better work than See Amid the Winter Snow. And I hope so. I really hope so. You know, because if I'm not, if I'm not learning, if I'm not growing, then what am I doing? What are we doing if we're not getting better? Well, something I would have written differently if I had the chance to change my feet. So if you're not familiar with the way Knights of the Square Table ends, there's been this big quest for the princess's hand in marriage, and the wizard Merlin, who joined the knight to assist him on the quest, has actually been sleeping with the princess the whole time. What happens in the end when this is revealed is a sidekick character ends up standing up for the princess. I know what I was trying to do. I was trying to say like, oh yeah, men can be good allies. But what I didn't want it to turn into was the man has to save the woman. And of course, I don't really buy into that. I like guys, so yeah. I would have just done that better. I would have empowered my female characters better. Though. And what have I been learning lately? Ah, oh, geez. I'm not as independent as I like to think that I am. The pandemic has taken more toll on my heart than I think I would have ever thought it would. Um, like just day in and day out in my apartment alone. Um, yeah, I like it. And after 80 days living with my parents, um, it was refreshing to get a break. But like, there's a primal need for human interaction and for just being with people that you love. Like I see my coworkers every day, but I haven't really made friendships with them yet. Certainly nothing as substantial as family or friends like you guys. Um, so that's, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a little lonely. It's a little lonely and I'm, I'm in a more fragile state than I would have thought to describe myself, if that makes sense. So yeah, um, <laughs> Brendan, a couple questions for you, sir. What would you say is your proudest accomplishment? Um, so that's my first question for you. My second question for you would be, I want our viewers to get the sense of who is Brendan Jones? That, and that could, be, that could be serious or that could be silly. Um, so those are my two questions for you. So, um, this has been great. I will definitely do this on time next time. All right, Peter out.